that a pick of your fingers is one of the most useful and dynamic techniques a bass player can have and in this short video I'm going to teach you how to palm mute with either a pick or with your fingers in four steps. How's it going guys? Hugh Richardson from OnlineBassGuitar.com here. At any point during this video if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. So if you're unsure about what palm muting is it's when you produce this kind of dampened sound by resting part of your palm on the strings. The first thing we'll look at is exactly which part of your palm you should use. A lot of people make the mistake of using this flat part of their palm here, but actually what you wanna try and do is use this fleshy outer edge here like this. So this can sit across the strings, typically just in front of the bridge. This does mean that you are forced to adopt a slightly different hand position when you play. So if you're going with thumb and fingers, you've got to be at a bit more of an angle or if you're using a pick again you can't be in this kind of normal free position you've got to be a little bit back further here but I'll show you how to work with those wrist angles and get around some of the potential problems later on in the video now how much of a deadened sound you get from palm muting depends on two things one is how much surface area of your palm is in contact with the strings and the other is the amount of pressure that you're putting through your palm onto the strings as a general rule of thumb the more of your palm in contact with the strings and the more pressure there is, the more dead the sound is gonna be. At the moment, if I play an open A string, my palm's not in contact with the strings, but as I lower it down, you can hear there a little bit of contact, a bit more contact, a lot of contact, and you can see the sound gets progressively more and more dead. One more thing about how much pressure you use, you want to be careful to make sure that your palm can actually still be mobile. You're not trying to make sure that your palm is covering all four strings at once. It might only need to cover a few at a time that you're actually playing. So your palm is going to need to be mobile and move to mute the strings as your fingers need to play them. So if I play up an A major scale in one position, you can see there that my palm is actually traveling a little bit to mute them, just as my thumb would do in a regular floating thumb style technique. Once you understand which part of the palm to use, the second step is to try not to compromise the wrist angle in your plucking hand. There's a tendency to kind of curve your wrist like this, so you get a bend here, which is obviously not going to be very good. So try and keep this as flat as you possibly can, as relaxed as you can. You might have to bend a little bit, and a little bit of bend is okay, but we're looking for it as straight as we can, really. So here we can see, got a pretty straight wrist there, a slight curve. And the same is true as if you're going with a pick. Again, you want to get your normal pick grip like this, rest that same part of the palm there, and you can see a little bit of a bend, but not too much. Step number four is to try adjusting your technique to incorporate palm muting. If you want a muted finger style sound, you might want to experiment with a thumb and fingers technique. So you're playing like this. So a lot of the time there you can see and hear hopefully that the technique is between the thumb and the index finger. So if I start playing something like a scale, you can see I've got the muted sound. I've still got a bit of speed, a bit of mobility. You could also look at incorporating index and middle finger as well as the thumb. Or if you prefer, try sticking to the index and the middle fingers, but doing this will actually bend your wrist further round like that. So it can be a bit tiresome on the wrist. And one note of caution about using both of these fingers, whether it's with a thumb or not, what I've noticed is because you're bending around like that and you're trying to push your palm down a little bit like this, your hand is inherently quite a bit more tense to start with. So if you've had problems with RSI, you've had problems with tendonitis, just tread with caution with this technique. Is this a technique that you're gonna use in your own playing? Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. And if you haven't had a chance to get your pick technique in shape, make sure you check out this video up here I did on pick technique. Or if you want a bit more of a challenge, check out this video on Bobby Vega's pick technique. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you real soon. Take care.